Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Blue Vale here on City Skylines and welcome back here to the Blue Vale Institute, otherwise known as Blue Vale University. Uh, it's looking awesome. I'm really, really, really loving this place. Uh, still waiting to see if the car parks actually work as intended. This one here does, which is good. Doesn't seem to be any floating vehicles, although I'd love to know the person who can afford uh, this Lamborghini. Looks like a Lamborghini. Might be a Lotus. Looks more like a Lambo, though. Looks more like a Countach, though, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, this is looking fantastic. Oh, we have a building here that doesn't have water. Oh, yeah, we need more water. Okay, we'll uh, add that to the list of things for today. Um, we've also got uh, Old Blue over here, which is continuing to expand. Buildings are upgrading constantly. We're getting, you know, three or four households in buildings now. Population of just shy of six and a half thousand which isn't too bad for the old part of town i feel like ramping the taxes up in this area though and imagining that you know it's a bit more expensive to live in because of its historical significance but i imagine i'm going to do that and then the whole place will just empty so uh, maybe i'll just leave it as is for now and the other thing oh yes the other thing i was going to talk about over here look at that i fixed the tracks it turns out that uh, despite the fact that I'm a, an old man now, um, I still haven't quite grasped the concept of reading because if you click here, it quite clearly says right here, Alt, hold to activate track only connection mode. Sure enough, if you press and hold Alt, look, there it is. So um, yeah, it's fine. Now there is a mixed one as well if you hold Shift, which is also kind of useful actually, so I'll bear that in mind. But the main thing is we've got the track textures uh, as we want them now. So I could probably go around the city and add a few more of those in uh, if I so wish. Uh, you may also notice right now this doesn't go anywhere. That's going to change in the future. My plan for this actually is to have this tram line here around this point here actually curve inwards uh, or maybe even continuing and then eventually uh, I wanted it to travel along this road here and then it will go out into a new residential area over here that's yet to be built. The existing, uh, sorry, the new line would go this way across down the median of this road here. And then at this point, it would cross over the river here, either in this direction or it will somehow reach over here uh, and then go up through the university and up to either the stadium or maybe even via the stadium to the airport, which is another good option. Um, along with the light rail system. Speaking of light rail, I will at some point get around to actually building it. I know I keep saying that and then it doesn't get done. Um, yeah, just waiting on some things. Uh, and also on this side, um, I've run the tram line here along the front. The plan is to continue it along the front and actually remove this bus road. And then somewhere around here, uh, either at this point here or the next one over, which is this one here, um, it will join back in and it will run down through the streets here and then somehow around here it will actually cross over uh, and yeah end up down here at Blue Shores. No idea how, not a foggiest clue right now. The other option uh, here is it tunnels underneath uh, and then surfaces over here and then connects up with this road and then yeah somehow ends up on that bit there as well. I don't know. Today. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the residential area over here and I'm also going to be looking at some form of transport. Um, you may notice, you may have already seen these, uh, I've got these roads here. Uh, I thought I'd get them out, have a look at them, see what they can do. These are trolley roads. So we've got this one here, which has got the weird... Yeah, there's no support structures for these, which look really, really weird. This one doesn't even have cross ties, which is even weirder. This one here is for trams, but I think it does also allow trolleys to run on it. This one is just for buses, I believe. The blue stuff in the middle, that's parking, believe it or not. No idea how that works in the real world. This one here is uh, cycling and trams. And then this one here is just bus and vehicles and things like that. I don't think I'm going to use any of these, to be honest. They're not really quite what I had in mind. But I wanted to get them out and have a look just to see anyway. One thing I do want in this part of the city is a trolley system. Um, more on that in a bit. Also, for those who were asking before about cyclists and roundabouts, I did build some uh, some roundabouts here for the uh, the cyclists who were coming down. Because at the at the point in which I built that road, 
I don't actually know how they get over here to begin with. They seem to be on the paths, which is interesting. And um, yeah, they were coming up this one over the bridge here. Then they were coming down. And then at this point here, they were getting a little bit stuck. And they were kind of walking to this street corner here and then hopping back on the bike, which seemed a bit stupid. So I've made it now so that they can, in fact, cycle all the way around the roundabout, which I think is better. Uh, also... Yeah, I have made it so that they can cross over. Uh, I don't think I've seen anyone yet actually cycle down this way towards the stadiums. I think we're on like the 13th right now. Yeah, and the next sporting event I think is the 16th. So there's no reason right now for anyone to come down here. Uh, and the other thing I was going to talk about was um, transport hub. I said there'd be a transport hub in here somewhere. I'm actually tempted to build it here, which is annoying because I put a fire station here. But that's, you know, easily enough to move um, but I think having it here would be good because then you can build some other pathways around it I was gonna say which I guess is still true if I was to build from I knew I'd get it in the wrong spot yes yeah, so if I was to come out this way a little bit further to there and then up this way I think that was 90 degrees it'll do anyway uh it's also raised up one which is not supposed to be but never mind there that's pretty good and then this area here could be our little transport hub which is actually probably the thing i'll build first because it gets it done and out of the way there we go gotta hate that noise sometimes okay yeah let's do that then let's build the transport hub here first um, maybe with access for trolleys as well, which will probably be off this road here, but we'll see. Uh, and then we'll get started on whatever else we're doing in today's episode. Okay, not my finest work, but this is what I've come up with for this. I believe buses can actually use this still. So, um... It should be fine. Buses cannot use this still. Okay, that's slightly problematic then. Uh, in that case, I might have to come up with an alternative because this is not ideal. There's this one, which is, again, just trolleys, I think. Let's try this. Wait, I can't place buses on any of these roads. Uh, if that's not concerning, I don't know what it is. Okay, I could place one there. Yeah, buses don't seem to use these roads. Maybe they're a bit restrictive then in what they allow. Let's uh, let's have a look. This is buses. I definitely need buses to be able to run down here. Because uh, if I can't, then yeah, I'm pretty screwed. Uh, also, for this road here, I need trolleys to be able to run down it, even if not all the way. Might have to revisit this plan at some point in the future, because right now, this is not what I had in mind. Those are really wide roads as well. There's one I saw. Uh, you might have seen it. Uh, where is it? gone there's one where it's like buses trams and trolleys in the middle of the road which looks incredible and i want to try it where did it go there there there, there. this thing look at this let me find a spot to place this down as a test look at that it's got parking as well which looks ridiculously stupid but yeah, that's uh, that's quite something. Two-way road, one was that one width bike with filler. One, I don't know what WB stands for here. Two-lane car, uh, parking with filler, and then shared tram. So that's tram. Oh, that's tram and trolley. I think. Maybe not bus. So buses would have to run on the normal road, like uh, the normal lanes. But just ah. Every now and then you see a road type where you just think, that looks cool. Um, so the trolley here then is probably a no-go, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, at least in this section. But I'm not giving up on the dream just yet. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to make it like this. 
that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, there is a mod, isn't there, called Undo It or something that would be perfect for when you screw up like that. Let's just do that. And then I'm going to remove the node there that I made. That one can stay. That's fine. Right. Now I'm going to rebuild the pathway, which was along here. Just keep building it out like that. There we go. And then this one down to that one there. Sweet. And I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to go back to this. Cool. I'm going to rebuild this, except this time I'm going to do it properly, which I think is there. Oh, it moved again just a little bit. There we go. That will probably do it. The more I look at it, the more I think maybe it won't probably do it, but it will probably do it. Uh, it's a bit of a thick road, this one, actually. Kind of like it. Kind of don't. Where is the dock? I'm just going to basically build it the same as the dock over here. So I think this will work well. So if I grab you, and we'll just drag you down like so. Uh, easier said than done with the snapping. There we go. Might just use move it here to uh, shrink this down a little bit. Now, what would be cool is if I kept it at 90 degrees, but I have a horrible feeling I did not. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like that. Wouldn't it be lovely if these things worked first time when you wanted them to? Absolutely glorious. Why is this not working now? There we go. I got it in the first time, no problem. I don't know what's happened here. I've also just had a, another idea. If I use something like this, it could work. And then it came into a transport hub that actually uh, hooked up along the back of these. The, uh, the skill is to not build these too big, he says, whilst building this one arguably way too big. done that. Let's remove that node. Oh, is it seriously not going to let me build it? Oh, let's just do this and then... Why is it not letting me build it here? Let's turn off snapping. So I can build it there or I can build it there, but God forbid I build it exactly where I want it. Yeah, it actually won't let me build it. Wow. Okay. 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 I see what this is doing. This is what move it's for, right? So actually, if I did this, and then just built it there, and then got this, and did this. Sure. better okay that works uh, I don't know what's happened here with the elevation but for everything else it's fine and then build another one next to it could put a bit of a gap in between these actually like so I think that's about right and then uh, another one here like so. And then at the end here, uh, I guess just do what I've already done here with a weird U shape. So let's do that. And then, well, hey, bring it back down. Like so. That's fine. That works. Uh, and then here will be the feeder lane for these. 
Right, now what's going on here with the level? Yeah, I figured there was something funny going on. But even here there's something funny going on. This one's too high, so we'll bring you down a smidge. But then this one here seems to be too low, so we'll bring you up a smidge. And then this one over here seems to be too high, so we'll bring you down a smidge. Like that. Do you work now? I guess you do. They look connected, so I'm going to assume that they are in fact connected. That that works for me. That works for me. Right, one more thing. And if I mess this up, then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just want to see, if I tried to do this, is it going to mess things up? Yes, it is. So it's not actually worth doing it, is it? No, it's not. Unless I did... Nope, that's going to mess it up too. All right, it's not worth it. I'm just going to do it like this. It's fine. So we've got an extra little bike thing here for no reason whatsoever. But this could come in useful if you imagine that this area here is going to be debiked uh, and it's going to become our trolley area, which is plausible uh, if I assume. Let's say I chose this one. Uh, and then in here. Draw one, draw two, and then turn off that. I guess that works. I feel like I could do this a lot better though. if I just did it like this that also works this end not a clue maybe actually if I uh, turn this one round and have it as a just a normal where's the other one gone that one there we go and then uh, Is this a one-way road? I actually don't know if it is. Can I use you? Yes, yeah, so you do that. And you do that. But the wires aren't connecting, which is really annoying, actually. So I think that would have worked really well. Are there any that are just dedicated trolley? I have a feeling the answer to that one is actually no. This is taking way longer than I thought it would, believe it or not. But um, it's fine. We're learning as we go. Could use just a pedestrian path. One of these. Yeah, that that does work, I think, maybe. Hang on. It's still not working with these wires, it seems. I think they do actually connect. It's just hard to tell. Maybe. But if I just um, do something like this then, you know, what difference does it make anyway, eh? That works. And then you've doubled up a little bit as well. Let's do it more like this. So I imagine this would be more cobblestone anyway. And then for uh, the connections here, if I do that and that, this one is going to be a right turn only, and this one's going to be straight on only. So it looks ridiculous here, but it should work. Also, what looks ridiculous is um, the way it actually connects there. Where's the... 
uh, over here, pedestrian areas. So we need the small cobblestone. This one. Small, is it bluestone? You can connect these up for now and then check. So that one there, this one here. Looks quite nice. And then select you. I think you are actually. Oh, you are bluestone. Wow, I actually guessed it right. Who would have thought that? And then, yeah, these ones are correct. Oh my goodness. Who would have thunk it? So, yeah, if I can now... Get this to be a slightly nicer gradient. To the point where actually most of the gradient is done for me. Right. You first. Then you, then you, then you, I guess. Sure. Yeah, if I could do it so it's not actually a gradient, that would be lovely as well. Or at least if there is a gradient, it's in all the right places. That'll do. Not quite sure what's happened here, why that's not showing as a, uh, a yellow line like that one is, but never mind. Cool. All connected. Right. So now we're going to put a pin in this. And we'll come back to this area later. Because right now my priority is going to be... Uh, actually, one more thing before we move on. Can I swap these around? Yes, I can. Just realised it would probably be smarter to have the bus lanes on the side where the bus stops are. There we go. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Right. Blue Vale Institute has a transport hub. Uh, and as for the fire station, I'm hoping, yeah, I was hoping it would fit back there, but it doesn't. We could just stick it here, I suppose. Or even over here, or even on this road. This works. Nothing in the rules that say it has to be on a non-bus road. And we have power now coming to it, I hope. There we go. Awesome. Right. Residential then. So we're going to start filling this area here. Um, there is a junction actually that I wanted to try, an intersection, which I would show you, but uh, it's quite big and it takes a long time to delete. But it's basically this. You can see it's got like a cross shape in the middle and that cross shape is made up with a road, the main road, which goes from bottom left to top right. And the other side, bottom right to top left, is a tram line, which I thought would look really really cool connected to a tram line that runs either through here and across this stretch of road or replace this with it I don't know if I want to replace this one I kind of like this one as is uh, it does help that the traffic is pretty light through here right now so maybe things will change in the future but yeah we'll come back to that right now let's get started on some residential here we're also going to be connecting up this main road here over to this main road here. We're going to be connecting up Old Blue on this corner here. Uh, and you never know, we might actually get to finishing Old Blue here as well. Minus the car park over here because that will probably have to wait for a future episode. Let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, brief interlude, just while I uh, explain what the hell I'm trying to achieve here. I wanted to get the uh, the trolleys integrated here with the, the road a little bit better. But unfortunately, game doesn't really want to play ball with me on that one. Um, you can kind of see what I had in mind here. We have the trolley here going round this roundabout, coming into Old Blue this way. 
up the hill into this central area where there would be a stop of some kind and this would basically be the terminus of the line and then it would run back down this way one line maybe go this way through the up to the university and then the other line go up here into the residential area it just i think i need to find some more assets in the workshop basically because this is not um going the way i i wanted it to which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is so what can you do right let's go swap these roads back out here and then uh we can crack on with the uh, the video again i think though you know for the most part this is okay it's not the end of the world i can definitely close that um we might even use this as a, a roundabout for one of the entrances to this residential area as well as linking all this stuff up and even uh, I might try and get these connections in here but they might just be joiners not necessarily levers because I think if you're going yeah I think we can uh, we can do something with this as well all right let's continue
Right, here we are then. The new residential area is complete. It is a bit gritty, um, but I think, you know, there are places in the UK where things are laid out more like this than uh, something, you know, old fashioned like this. We did learn from our mistakes in town planning uh, to an extent, although, you know, some of the places near where I grew up, maybe we didn't learn much from town planning. Anyway, here we are then. So I'm going to make some uh, little tweaks to some of these junctions here without using the lane connector if I can help it. The uh, the goal here being uh, to make it so that most of these you can only get into by uh, turning left. So no right turns basically, no cross traffic. This one here I think I will have cross traffic which might end up being more of a, a problem than it perhaps could be but I do whatever um, and that's that side done up here yeah actually that one needs to be bi-directional and then this one we're just gonna have it so that you can only turn uh, in or out from this direction heading to the west same with this one although again actually that one might be useful to have. Maybe not. Maybe not. We will just have it be uh, like so. There we go. That's how you get in and out of the estate there. Over here. Uh, where's the other main road gone? There it is. So that one's fine. This one. Um, we need to turn those off. Same with this one. And then over here, your all directions. Yep, so you're fine. But then this one again, straight on and right turn disabled. There we go. There's probably another one down here. Yeah, this one where we could do something similar. So turn off right turn there, turn off right turn there. Because if you want to turn into the estate here, there's this perfectly good roundabout here that will allow you to do so. Also, if we do that, uh, here, that one off, and that one off, uh, like so. I guess this one we will turn straight on off. This one will turn right turn off. Same with this one. This might actually be an easier way of doing this rather than having to use the lane connectors all the time. Uh, no, you're straight on. You're straight on off. There we go. And then you're straight on and yeah, I think that's all of them. Much better. Um, yeah, I feel like that's better than how we had it before. Right, so we need to water this area, which we can use the existing university one to do. Uh, I am also going to place some um, recycle centers somewhere, possibly along this road, although saying that they wouldn't be able to get into the estate from here so maybe um, along this road we can have a couple sort of dotted around the streets so you know like one one there one uh, somewhere around here maybe if I can squeeze it in here like so uh, just to help with the traffic and uh, not traffic sorry just to help with the rubbish that is building up around here. Also, these could do with being uh, dropped. There we go. I was wondering what it was going to complain about, because it wasn't complaining about power to start with. It's already distributed some trucks. But yeah, water and power are the problems. Okay, let's uh, let's throw some water into the equation here then, and then we can start uh, looking at how we're going to power this. And also, um, actually, because I do need to add some more water towers and stuff here as well, don't I? Uh, which is going to be interesting, or at least a water source of some kind. It probably will be water towers because I don't think there's going to be too much land pollution around here. Maybe along this section here we can have some, or in this area here we can have some water towers. Uh, bear with me on that one. But we're going to water this area and then we're going to work out how we're going to power this area. And then we can start zoning this area. So anyone who is a uh, 
purist when it comes to pipe laying, I can only apologize for this horrendous layout here that I've just created. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I am going to put a couple of water towers in this area here. Because I feel like out of all the areas of the city, this is the one that's going to be the least impacted by things like pollution. Um, and also, you know, potentially being built upon things like that. And to power them, um, I'm going to get a windmill. Hopefully, yeah, that will carry across. And then we can put a couple more windmills around the area. And that should give these enough power to produce more water, which does take us, yes, well into the green. Excellent stuff. Nice. Right. Zoning. Well, first of all, before we do zoning, we've got to do things like fire stations and parks and things like that as well. It's probably a good idea to um, district this area now as well while we're here. Um, just so there's no, confu whoops, no confusion in the future. Uh, I think for this area, I am going to go for the bog standard UK suburban style. Um, for all of this so it is going to impact on population capacity a little bit but it could be worse I suppose we'll, uh, we'll see first of all though I'm going to mark out all this area like this and then we're going to come along like this sort of skirt around there hook onto this road and then this is going to take us down back to uh, where we started. I think this is going to work. We shall find out. The uh, the main road here, it's it's fine. You know, it could be worse. Um, there are very limited connection opportunities in this area, especially if you're heading up towards where the airport will eventually be. So um, might do a little bit of rejigging with some of these intersections at some stage. But right now it's fine. You know, it does its job. That's the main thing. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Now we're going to get out the big dog. And we're just going to finish painting inside this area. Where hopefully it all joins up and looks lovely. There we go. There we go. And then down this way. We could fill in the little gaps in a second. Let's just get this bit here done. Starting to look like a proper city now, Blue Vale, with everything. You think back a few episodes, it kind of looked a bit like a desolate wasteland in certain areas. Uh, particularly, if I just move away from here a second, particularly sort of this area where Vermont Heights and Elm Grove now are. So we were, we were kind of expanding this way from Blue Shores, then we went down this way to Vale Point, then across to Vale Shores, up to Old Blue, but obviously we did these two here before Old Blue. But this area here just always seemed a bit blank and empty, and this bit down here still is blank and empty. Um, we'll have to come up with something else to go there. I'd love to build another railway station there, but there's no point with the yards just here. So yeah, we'll find we'll find something for it. Anyway, right. This is Myrtle Square. I do not like this name. Um, I need to call it something else. What can I call it? What have I got for inspiration? Very, very few things. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there a random name generator? Nope. Maybe if I quickly open Chrome. Uh... Come on, give me a tab. Right. Um, random suburb name generator. So there's a town generator. That'll work. I'd like to generate, let's say five, and we'll pick the best one. Um, we go with fictional region, United Kingdom. And... Yeah. Okay. I can't even pronounce that first one. Uh, these are all crap. Let's try real. Based on real town names. 
Bilston or Portland, Walthamstow, which isn't, it kind of is a town, I suppose, but it's London. Uh, Thaxted. I kind of like Bilston. I'll call it like Bilston Grove or something like that. If you live in the town of Bilston, first of all, welcome. Second of all, um, you are now in here, which is awesome. Policies, power usage, water usage, smoke detector, recycling, smoking ban. I hate smoking with an absolute passion. Um, recycle plastic, sure. What else? I don't think there's much else that we can use right now. Parks and Rec, maybe. Taxation, not really bothered. We'll go with high-rise ban, heavy traffic ban, encourage biking, but not on the sidewalks. Uh, we could go with a NIMBY. Sure. Don't think there's anything else here that we would want. Small business enthusiast, maybe. There we go. And then, whoops, I always close that one when I don't mean to. Styles. We want British UK and UK Suburban. Awesome. Right then, yes. Let's get some parks and stuff in before we start planning anything out. Now, these big gaps here, these are perfect for, for parks. Um, it's kind of an accident that these exist, but we might as well make the most of them. So, you know, we could fit a park there, for example. Uh, we could also then, on the other side of things, put like a hospital or some kind of medical clinic, like an ambulance station, which isn't a medical clinic at all, but it's useful in that um, we can deploy uh, things a lot quicker. What have we got there's a medical practice here that we can maybe stick down uh, by things I mean ambulances of course yeah let's stick you there all right first of all you are going to use the sprinters because why not second of all you are glade avenue medical practice whoops there we go so that's one. Um, we could probably use another, like an ambulance station somewhere, possibly up this way. Like this, just again, get people, uh, just to again, get people in here a little bit quicker. I think you'll find there. We'll just, uh, what are you, right boulevard. isn't actually we don't I don't think we have many street names if any here with boulevard in them that's a very American slash European thing All right local police station mm, not that fussed about that that one almost works that one almost looks the part we could just go with the rural one but I guess we could just go with the UK one that works too uh, and we can stick you like this street corner here well, you're technically facing the wrong way, so I might spin you around. There. And you are... Uh, let's just call you Bilston Police. Preferably without a space in it. Station. Station! Right, Bilston Police Station. Cool. And then we need the fire station. Of which, again, we could just get away with, I mean, Billingham Fire Station right there. We could just do that and then rename it Bilston. That works. Where do we put you? I almost tempted to put you over here, but then you're not really in the estate. So maybe, maybe down on this road here, maybe just before the roundabout. Because you kind of cover old blue then as well. So... Bill Stern Fire Station. Awesome. Right. Now for some town planning. We're going to kind of keep with the basic principles that we have here in the UK, which is, you know, light commercial on street corners of main roads and things like that. And then residential pretty much everywhere else. So if we just do little bits like this. Like so, and then, yeah, like so. I'm going to pause the game for this just so that they're not all springing up immediately. Little parades there. Over here, uh, 
definitely think we need some there and there for sure maybe a couple here too like all four corners and then uh, yeah down here too let's say that as a starting point maybe a couple more like that and then, you know a parade of shops would be good too but um, I wasn't really thinking about that when I built this so we're stuck with this now okay and then we can do some um, I think we do some dense commercial uh, residential sorry on these streets maybe I should paint these I think we have dense residential on these uh, in the uh, the style pack I think so and then everywhere else can be light so you can almost imagine you know these are like uh, blocks of flats and things like that which hopefully that's what they end up being let's do that and then somewhere around here could do another lot like so definitely this road here that one's probably not going to end up being anything. Uh, I kind of want these to be built up as well. Near this main road, because I think that could work well. Something like that. Uh, and then this area. If this grows how I want it to... This is going to look awesome. There. Anywhere else that could use some dents. Maybe here. I mean, this could be good for like playing fields and stuff. But I think for now, we'll just densify it. There we go. And then I think everything else can actually be just normal suburban housing. Uh, I don't know why I chose to say it one word at a time there, but there we go. I think something like this, um, not including these roads, and in fact probably not including this road either. And I really got to start using the the zoning tool um, when building roads a lot more strategically, because right now I keep forgetting it exists, to be perfectly honest with you, and then uh, yeah, I get to a moment like this and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I could have actually used that really helpful tool, that would have been good. But never mind. Um, this one here I can actually use the fill tool for still. Like this. It is a bit annoying the way the snapping was working when I was building some of these streets. You might have noticed they weren't being built exactly 90 degrees. Even though I was clicking on a node, they didn't seem to want to be on that node. They, they moved ever so slightly to the left or the right. Which uh, is quite annoying. And you're trying to build things in a certain way. You can see here, hardly any of this is straight. That's frustrating. Um, over here. Bonk. There we go. These down here, we can get away with uh, just making them suburban. You know, semi-detached, detached, that kind of thing. I really am tempted just to get the square tool out and just drag all this but um, I don't think it's actually going to work how I want it to so I, I might have to uh, stick this into a little bit of a time lapse as well just to get the uh, the result I'm looking for so bear with let's get on with it Here we are then, fully zoned, and hopefully in a second, fully growing. 
uh, things do seem to be happening, which is excellent. Um, so I've sped up construction speed at the moment, and what I would normally do at the end of a video like this is show you guys the um, the time lapse of it all coming together and being built. But you know, you've seen it once, you've seen it all, in my opinion. So there's no ne need really to be doing that. Um, you'll you'll you know what these things look like, really, don't you? You don't need me to show you again. I'm just going to check that power is eventually going to reach over to here. I think there will be ways to make it happen. It very much depends on how these buildings start growing. Um, I'm hoping the connection would be somewhere around here, but already it's not looking entirely plausible, so maybe it'll end up being a bit closer to this instead. I'll give it a minute to uh, to start growing, and we'll go from there. If this Excuse me. If necessary, we'll uh, we'll run a line from old blue here across, um, and see if that works instead. But yeah, we've got our recycling centres, one there, one over here. I might even actually build another one over this way. They're pretty low, low polluting, so they're not going to cause too much of an issue. If I stick another one there, um, can't choose the vehicles that come out of them, so that's fine. And yeah, it just means things around here get picked up a little bit quicker and also over here at the university, which does seem mostly okay at the moment, but I think the main stadium here is still struggling. But there's no truck even coming over this way, so that's uh, potentially an issue. That might have something to do with the road connection, but it looks okay to me, so I'm a little bit confused about that one. Uh, and I'm also checking that the next match is indeed on the 17th. So yeah, I would love to actually catch one of those on camera if I can. Um, we'll very much see whether or not that's possible. But yeah, this is looking good. It's looking good. Things are starting to spring up. Hopefully people will be moving in. I'm just trying to work out, because it's semi-detached housing and things like that, it's not going to be massive. These are going to be single household homes. So um, hopefully we'll get, I don't know, five, six, seven thousand people in here maybe. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the airport just over the way. And we've got the stadium just over here as well, both of which will be built in future episodes, not too far from now. Uh, next episode, I actually want to finally get started on transport because you're supposed to really build your transport links first and then come through and uh, and build your, uh, well, everything else, really. So I think I need to get the transport sorted out. I was looking at the magic roundabout here and wondering if we could put a triangular junction for the light rail in um, like we've done everywhere else. The reason I would like to do that is because we've got this big blank space here and it would be a good way to fill it. The reason I don't want to do that um, is because then getting people to and from this station over here might be a bit of a trek. Although if I turned this here into an elevated uh, road, then maybe because the tracks would be Let's say they came down here through the middle of these two tunnels here, but instead of coming out over here, if they came around this way instead, and then in this way, and then we had the triangle like that. So actually it would be this one here that has to be elevated, and I'm not really sure that would work. So it might have to be a tunnel instead. Might have to put a pin in that one. We could actually put just a straightforward Y-shaped junction here. I don't think we need anything fancier than that. So that might be what we end up doing. But the main thing is, you know, things are working. People are getting the bus to and from the cruise terminals. The cruise terminals themselves are somewhat working better, I hope. Uh, is there a boat coming in? Yes, there is. Is the outside connections thing working? 142 suggests maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Are you leaving or arriving? You're definitely leaving. You've got no one on board, so that's a bit weird as well. But yeah, I want to get transport sorted. I want to get bus routes set up in these various districts especially around places like Vale Shores that is absolutely massive so we'll have one that comes out of here and runs around I don't know this area one that runs around this area one in this area one in this area just picking people up bringing them to a central hub where they can then hop on a, a bus rapid transit or a train or you know something that gets them around the city other than car because right now car is is killing um, the traffic flow in the city. Wow, these really are springing up. Good to see. Excellent stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, light rail. I want to get the trolley working as well, which might involve having to redo some roads. 
or maybe from here it just runs on a dedicated road to somewhere. You may have seen in the time lapse I tried to upgrade this road here to make it work, but the wires looked really weird going around this junction. So I don't think junctions on corners is a viable option here. So we could have it come this way instead and then head into Old Blue this way. It's not the worst idea. We've got the bus lanes already in situ and then from here it can come straight across down onto this section here and then a left turn or right turn sorry and then up to the uni. It's a possibility and then maybe in Old Blue it can actually run through and out this side as well and run somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. I'd like to get the trolley into Bilston Grove as well to be honest so um, there might be some work needed here. We'll see. Anyway, that will do it for this episode. I'm just going to do a little bit of supervision here to make sure things are growing as anticipated uh, and to make sure there's nothing that I've missed. We have missed out schools, actually, so I'll go place some schools as well and maybe a few more parks just to work on the land value. But then we're building a massive airport just over here, so land value isn't exactly going to be the best anyway, um, but we'll see what we can come up with. But yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking these little junctions that we've got here as well sort of grade separated junctions once we've got this fixed of course it'll look a lot nicer uh it's all good it's all good and it's all going to hopefully function really really well and we're going to have a lovely population in our lovely city and no one's going to get pollution no one's going to get um you know their homes burning down or whatever it's all going to work so with that in mind thank you very much everybody for watching uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and of course if you're enjoying the series drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes if you haven't already subscribed the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed the channel thank you everyone for your continued support and from the brand new Bilston Grove here in Bluevale on City Skylines until next time I will see you soon <laughs>